that to get sped up. Is there a road hop on to get over there? It's hard to tell. No, take off the dam. We'll remove it. Because I think if we go that other way, we'll have to run in the water a bit. I should add that mod that makes you take damage from walking in icy water. I see that would probably be a really bad idea. All right, we still have a little bit of a trek to go. I'm sure we won't run into anything nasty. And we will do the Dawnstar quest again. I think that's a Daedric quest. I could be wrong. That. Unlikely, though. Don't think I've ever really been wrong about anything. Ever. Okay, get shield up. Get offensive contingency. Oops, I don't think I casted it. Oh, I did. Never mind. Sweet. Uh oh. Just in time. Up, oh, spiders. Oh shit. Oh, Lydia's over there fucking with a goat. Not, not like that. Hmm. I think it's got some hit points. Lydia, come on, focus. I get attack the one I've targeted. All right, wait. Which one is the? Reanimate corpse. Let's reanimate this. Oh, hell yeah. My own undead spider. Shit yeah. That's awesome. I should have stopped to see if that town had some spellcaster. Or in somewhere I could buy spells, but eh. Hell yeah. Good job, Lydia. Yeah, things would be really rough if I, uh,. Oh, hello, my little spider. Come on. Let's go. I want a permanent raise spell, or raise a dead spell. Raise corpse spell. That would be awesome. I have a legion of the undead. That's how my first D and not D&D, but my first Diablo characters was. Was a necromancer who focused on having a ton of pets. Yeah, I was going to wait for him to die so I could loot his ashes, but... He'd only have poison, probably. Not worth waiting. Ugh, we're kind of running right towards a dragon resting spot. I guess we'll we'll see. Maybe fight a dragon. It's always fun. Well, it'll probably be easier. Ooh, there's some horses. Winter hold Imperial Camp. Oh, that means Skyrim base. Okay. All right. Well, at least now we know. I thought that meant Dragon Burial Site, but obviously it doesn't. So, who cares? Let's go ahead and tap this lighthouse as well. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that was awesome. That was. Definitely a badass death animation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Going for the, the Hail Mary pass of the fireball, which I don't know if it's, which is a pass. And you're just throwing it at them. Eh, screw that. Let's go ahead. I don't know if putting your hands away. Makes you run faster? I would think not. I mean, the idea is if you have a weapon, you put your weapon away, you can run faster. But I don't, I don't know how technical they are about it to say, well, your hands are your weapons in this case, so therefore, you need to put them away if you want to run fast. I want to go fast. Lighthouse. See if there's. This is a pretty short, small area. Oh, that doesn't look good. Search this horse. Hmm, horse meat. Hey, look, a cave. Wonder what's inside. Hmm. Wait, is that a cave? Or is that just rock? It's hard to tell. Nope, that is cave. I mean, rock. The other thing. Also, Lydia, that's a lighthouse, as far as I can tell. Oh, weak poison? Hmm. Why do you have weak poison there, sir? Bear traps? Let's search for the outside first. Let's see if we can deduce what's going on. One thing I didn't realize until later. Ooh, hey. Too bad I don't have a mining, a mine pick. Damn. Words are the hardest. Oh, potato plants. 
and leaks. I also, I know that there are mods to make cooking more useful, but I don't know if I really want to fiddle with that. It's one of those things that I think would be fun single player. Got some healing potions here. It's one of those things that I think would be fun if I was just playing by myself. You know what I mean? But watching me do it would probably, like, watching me fiddle around with it and trying to keep the food buffs up and making the food probably wouldn't be super interesting for you guys, so. I probably won't mess with it. But I've said a lot of things that I went back on, so, yeah. We'll see. We're really want to get restoration to 30. Oh, boy. Looks like good things have been happening here. Expert. Great. A good timing for that noise. Find the source of the murders in Frostflow Lighthouse. I definitely never did this one. Habz Journal. Let's read Habz Journal. After years of sailing from Hammerfell to Sulstheim and back, Ramati and I have finally saved enough money to buy that old lighthouse we spotted on the coast, and we are moving in next month. These Nords really know how to live. It may be cold, but you can't beat the tranquility of watching ice... Watch... The tranquility... Let's try this again. But you can't beat the tranquility of the watching icebergs to live out your silver years. Okay, that's not just me. That's just worded very weirdly. Ramati loves the place too, despite the occasional leaky ceiling. Manny and Sudi unfortunately seem miserable here. I know the kids are old enough to strike out on their own, but I hope they'll grow to love this peace and quiet here as I have. Manny and Sudi continue to bicker and harass each other, and they seem to have started out on their mother as well. Ramati keeps finding things missing from the cellar. Sudi says she heard a noise down there, but Manny just thinks their mother is giving going mad from isolation. The, vi the very thought of it is ridiculous. She always wanted to retire here. Sudi keeps saying that she hears scratching coming from the cellar at night. I think she's just trying to get her mother's goat, but I'd better head into town to get a few traps just in case it's skeevers. It should only take a couple days. I just hope these two go easy on Ramati while I'm gone. Oh gods, oh gods, why? I return home to find my beautiful Ramati killed, and this thing, this horrible bug-like creature ransacking our home. I managed to kill the damn thing. I think it might be a Daedra. I've never seen anything like it. Oh god, poor Ramati. It must have come out of the cellar. I'm going down there and locking the door behind me to make sure that it, sure they don't escape. I don't know if, if I'll make it out, but I have to save my family. Okay. Well, it's a little, a little late for that, I think. Oh, there's the thing he killed. Oh, it's a Charis. Oh, those things are a pain in the ass, if I remember correctly. Let's see. Do anything else interesting? Nord Mead? No. No, thank you. I don't want anything Nordish inside my body. Salmon steak. Ah, damn, there's blood all over the baked potatoes. What a waste. Ah, Sudi's journal. I hate it. Why did I have to move to Skyrim anyway? I miss the big port cities. There was always something to do and new people around. Or even being cabin girl on one ship we used to sail on would be better than this. Manny says we should run away, but I can't leave mother and father alone, I hear. Oh, what to do? <laughs> They're old and they could take care of themselves. I don't think you have to stay with your parents. We've been here for two months now and there's nothing to do. From the top of the lighthouse, we can see all the way to the college at Winterhold. The father says that magic is for Daedra worshippers. The only interesting thing to have happened lately is that mother snapped at us at dinner and accused us of stealing things out of the cellar. I did hear scratching down there the other night, but I thought it was just father cleaning fish. I caught Manny in the cellar a couple days ago. Do some... Those... What? I caught Manny in the cellar a couple days ago, going through some of the barrels and crates. At first, I thought it was him all along making the scratches to play a trick on me, but heard them again last night, and Manny was in bed. 
Father finally said he would go get some traps and poison from town in case it's Skeevers. I'm really scared. It doesn't sound like Skeevers to me. Manny won't listen. He thinks I'm just making up the noises and keep sneaking into the cellar. Oh, why is he so stupid sometimes? I don't know why he keeps going down there, but I found the cellar key he copied and hid in Mother's favorite keepsake, so he won't find it. The scratching is getting louder. Okay, so I don't actually want the key. I want to pick the lock if possible. Read Immortal Blood. Uh, yeah, we won't be reading all that. I'm guessing it might be relevant. Perhaps. Or not. This is just the kids' room. Take these flowers as they phase in and out. The Legends of the Red Eagle. Amethyst? Ooh, hell yeah. Or necklace, the Wolf Queen. Clothes. Very stiff clothes. Probably should starch that. Or it was too much starch. I don't know. Uh-oh. Looks like somebody uh, got a little bloodied up here. It might be too late. You could sleep in the red. Yeah, they're, they're dead or gone. They don't care. That's probably the daughter's room. Maybe the brother's room. Oop. Take this money. Idra and the Daedra. Okay, just another regular book. Trials of Sarlesia? Hmm. The strange... Some strange books we're finding around here. I'm thinking maybe the brother is the one who possibly caused them to show up in the first place. Maybe that's why he's always going down there. Ramati's journal. We finally did it. We bought the lighthouse. I thought Habd was making idle promises all these years. What husband doesn't want to promise their wife the two moons from the sky? But I didn't think we'd actually manage to get it. Now if I could only find where we've put everything. I can't find my favorite cooking pot, and it's slightly infuriating. Sudi and Manny seem unhappy, but they're still young and don't seem to understand that we just want to spend a few more years with them before they leave us to see the world. I know they think their father will live forever, but I see his age creeping into his eyes. He made me promise again that when he died, I would put his bones in the lighthouse fire so he could look out over the ocean forever. Oh, uh, ooh, those two get me sometimes. I want to unpack some of our keepsakes from the trading ships we used to sail, but I can't find them. Sudi keeps saying he, she's hearing something in the basement at night, and many suggest it, it was skeevers. They know I hate skeevers. Now I'm too scared to go down there at all. I'm afraid I unpacked my favorite urn and put it safely on the mantle. Oh wait, I'm glad I unpacked my favorite urn and put it safely on the mantle before those two started causing mischief. If they put a skeever in the basement, I swear. Yes, dear God, no, not skeevers. Daedra and a tankard for those late night alcoholic binges, I guess. Ooh, take this. Restoration increased 24, nice. That was a good book to get. Well timed. Daedra. Why do I, why do I keep. Oh, because they're glowing and I instinctively try to read it. Alright, there's some of our pots right there. Now, so if we look for this urn, that probably has. What the hell? Take a torch bug in a jar. Okay. That's very weird. So the key is probably in this urn. So, before we do that, save. And I actually want to first try to unlock this. Because I would rather get the skill points. Because we have a decent amount of lockpicks. Easy. There we go. Got this door. So first we'll check the upstairs. Uh, nothing too interesting so far. Open to the Skyrim. Get the top of the lighthouse, I'm sure. Yep. Yes, there's surely maybe something of interest up here. Be kind of cool to live in an old lighthouse, I guess. At least for a little while. Ooh, requires key. Well, we might have to get that key anyway. Well, anyway. Well, I was going to get it regardless, but... Who's been keeping the fire? How would you even light that? Like, if it ever went out, you'd be screwed. Like, how would you start it? But even getting wood into it would be a pain in the ass. You just kind of lob it over and hope you don't 
the miss and have it chew in the face. Not well designed. Not that I've spent a lot of time designing lighthouses, but let's go ahead and unlock this. I don't want to accidentally get the key. This is gonna be this is gonna be tricky. Expert's the highest, right? Or no, I think master's the highest. Oh, there we go. Oh, must be barely off. Damn it. Very close. Makes it rough when you. Oh, oh god damn it. Just a little bit further. There we go. See that? I got a whole lock picking point just from that one lock. Because remember, we skilled that right before that, too. So before we go down there, let's check the rest of this house. Let's go ahead and grab the key now. Yeah. Eh, we'll actually get everything but the key. And then we'll get that before we leave again. Not that we really need it for anything, but. Alright, so first things first. Let's get our shield up. Contingency spell is still up for just a little bit. I'm gonna wait for our mana. Not looking forward to these. I just tend, I don't know why, but I tend to remember these things being nasty. Could be misremembering, but. Wait, is this? Yeah, because. What the hell? Oh, traps. You laid traps. Thanks. Thanks for that, old man. I'm gonna heal myself up. And no to look for traps now. Thanks, old man, for giving me a skill up. Blood. Oh, I see the. Ow! You son of a bitch! How did you know? Alright, let's team up on the same one here. Should do bonus damage from hitting him in the back. Nice. Hey, we just wait for our mana. So, yeah, I just decided that. Oh, shit. Alright, time to exploit. But I decided to do the mage guild quests. Because mana regen is such a pain in the arse. And people kept saying that you were get these uh, rewards. A reward which, uh, the I guess the cloak or the robe gives you a bunch of regen. Ooh. Nice. Tactically done by running in circles. All right, let's heal up. Let's heal up. Let's heal up. Let's. There we go. Sometimes when I switch spells, it doesn't let me cast immediately. It's kind of weird. So yeah, those things are pretty nasty. They took her down. Okay, so healing potions. Cabbage, I can do without. And a basket. I don't know why I'm harvesting sal salmon. Fish barrel. So you're gonna have fish in it? Yeah, well, yeah, there's a few fish in it. River Betty. Salt pile. Clam meat. Just grabbing the ones that have alchemical attributes. In case I decide to do alchemy, which, you know, this rate, I probably will end up doing it. Let's go ahead and grab all the fish. Some of them have alchemical attributes, some of them don't. Some are just food. Carrots, no thank. Ooh, lockpicks. I got for the ones I broke getting in here. That was too stubborn to use the, the key like a normal person. Blues. The hell? Alkir hood. What is that? Hmm. Interesting. Get enchanted. Maybe it looks look kind of cool. 
bear pelt. Oh wow, it sells for quite a decent amount of money. I shall take it. <laughs> 